This is a PowerPoint presentation on the living organisms, characteristics and habitats. This presentation contains information about What is a adaptation? What is a habitat? Two types of habitat. Two types of components of environment. Adaptation of camels. Adaptation of desert plants. Adaptation of mountain animals. Adaptation of lions. Adaptation of deers. Adaptation of octopus. Adaptation of aquatic plants. Characteristics of living beings. What is adaptation? The presence of specific features or certain habitats, which enable an organism to live naturally in a place is called adaptation. It is passed on from generation to generation. What is a habitat? A habitat is a place where an organism lives. It meets all the environmental conditions an organism needs to survive. For an animal, that means everything it needs to find. There are two types of habitat. Terrestrial habitat and aquatic habitat. Terrestrial habitat. The plants and animals that live on land are said to live in terrestrial habitat. For example deserts, mountain regions, grassland etc. Aquatic habitat. The plants and animals that live in water are said to live in aquatic habitat. For example lakes, rivers, oceans etc. There are two types of components of environment. Biotic and abiotic components. Biotic component. The organisms, both plants and animals, living in a habitat are its biotic component. Abiotic component. The non-living things such as air, water and soil in a habitat constitute its abiotic component. Adaptation of camels. First, they have long legs which keep them away from the heat of the sand. Second, they excrete small amount of urine, their dung is dry and they do not sweat. Third, since, camel lose very little water from their bodies and they can live for many days without water. Adaptation of desert plants. First, these plants lose very little water through transpiration. Second, their leaves are either absent, very small or are in the form of spines. Third, most of these plants have roots that go very deep into the soil. Adaptation of mountain animals. First, mountain leopard have thick skin or fur to protect them from cold. Second, mountain yaks have long hair to keep them warm. Third, mountain goats have hooves to climb up the rocky slopes of mountain. Adaptation of lions. First, lions have long claws in their front legs that can be withdrawn inside the toes. Second, its light brown color help it to hide in dry grassland to catch any prey. Third, the eyes on the front of its head help it to have a correct idea about its prey. Adaptation of Deers First, deer have strong teeth for chewing the hard plant stem of the forest. Second, it has long ears to hear the movement of its predators. Third, the eyes on the sides of its head allow it to look in all directions for danger. Adaptation of Octopus First, they stay deeper in the ocean, near the seabed and catch any prey that moves towards them. Second, when they move in water they make their body streamlined. Third, these animals have gills to help them use oxygen dissolved in water. Adaptation of aquatic plants. First, the stem of these plants are long, hollow and light. Second, the stems grow up to the surface of water while the leaves and flowers float on the surface of water. Third, some of the submerged plants have narrow and thin ribbon-like leaves. Characteristics of living beings. They all need food. They all show growth. They all respire. They all respond to stimuli. They all do excretion. They all reproduce their own kind. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe.